I really hate slow websites. Therefore, today I'm going to show you how to take your sites from these results to these results. So if you're interested, then jump in because it's really easy and it's going to take only a couple of minutes. So this is my site and this is the one we're going to tweak today. As you see, a bunch of images up here. It's totally unoptimized, no cache, no anything here. And if I take a look at the GT metrics, it shows me the performance of 54%. Largest contentful paint is 2.2 seconds. Fully loaded time is 4.2 seconds. Request 141 and page size 2.75 megabytes. I'm also going to use a performance analyzer Chrome extension. How does it work? Well, I'm going to refresh my page, open up the extensions, and as you see, it displays me the information that these 144 requests, 2.5 seconds of total loading time, time to first byte, 1.2 seconds, and so on. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the plugins and I'm going to add new. Next, I'm going to search for free soul. This one here, free soul, deactivate plugins, plugin manager and cleanup. In a minute, I'm going to show you what will it do for us. So I'm going to activate it. And as you see, I have a free soul deactivate plugins menu here. I'm going to go to the plugins manager. There is a pop up here. You can go through. It shows you what is what. I'm going to close it down because I'm going to explain you what can you do with it. So as you see, these are all my pages I have created for this site. I can choose only home page, posts, pages, products, content blocks, all other post types I have here. I can set the rules here. But first, I'm going to go to the single pages. And in this video, I'm going to tweak the home page. But in a similar way, you can customize all your pages, products, custom post types, and so on. So I'm going to activate the home page. And this one here displays all the plugins I have installed. If there is a check mark like this one here, then this means the plugin on this page is activated. I'm going to take a look at the view page source. And as you see, I have no products here, but I have a wish list and a card. That means WooCommerce is loaded. But I have events calendar activated on my site, but no events calendar is displayed on a home page. If I take a look at the event on the site, as you see, there are a bunch of scripts from this plugin that are loaded on the site. So for me, it's no point for this plugin to be loaded. So let's deactivate the ones I don't need. I don't need block navigation, customizer refresh, events plugin, temporary login without password, Events Calendar Pro, and I don't need a backup for this page to be loaded. So let's save it. Now let's go to the GT metrics. Let's analyze it and see what's happening here. And as you see, with a couple of clicks, we managed to get from this here to this here. From 54 to 91, and we trimmed 0.8 seconds from the largest contentful paint and 2.5 seconds from fully loaded time. Also, page size is now 1.24 megabytes. It was 2.75. We had 141 requests. Now we have 75. And this only with a couple of clicks here. Awesome, isn't it? So this was a GT metrics, but I'm going to refresh my site now and let's take a look at the performance analyzer here. So as you see, a similar results here, 79 requests, loading time less than a second, which means so far so good. OK, back to the free show deactivate plugins here. A couple of things for you to point out. For example, if I have set up everything here, I can click on the plus icon and you'll see there are a bunch of options here. If you hover on the icons, you'll see what is what. This one is for editing the page. View page loading plugins according to save options. For example, if I disable 
cadence blocks here and I will open up the settings. If I click here, I'll see that if the cadence blocks is deactivated, everything is messed up because this site is created with the cadence blocks. So this was before I saved any changes. Now I see that I can't do that. Therefore, I'm going to leave it activated. So a bunch of cool options here. And what I especially like is the copy settings options here. Take a look. I'm going to click on copy settings. I'm going to paste them here. The same here and here and here and so on. This way I can easily modify one site. And if I see that everything is working and then I can paste all the settings to the other sites. So I'm going to save it. And before I leave this plugin, I'm going to show you that you can do that also with post types. For example, if I don't want the block navigation or my event events calendar be loaded with a post, I just can disable those here. And if I go to the pages here, I'm going to open one up. For example, I'm going to open up my front page. If I scroll down, you'll see that every page has the same options area here. I can disable or enable the plugins, not only on the main menu, but also here. Now pay attention that there are a bunch of options here. You can disable plugins based on devices, custom URLs for backend, but pay attention if there is a pro sign here, that means those are pro options. You have to purchase the pro version. Now let's open up backend singles and you'll see that if I'm on a library page and I don't need the block navigation plugin to be activated, Bloxy Companion, Customizer Refresh and so on, I can disable those here. Just to test it out, I'm going to go to the media library, open up the performance analyzer, 2.1 seconds loading time, request 147. Let's see whether it changes something if I deactivate the plugins I don't need over there. For example, those. Oh, I'm just randomly disabling something. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to close it down. Let's refresh. Open it up. Boom. Loading time less than a second. Requests 88. But there is a problem, as you see. If I'm using this menu, I don't see any WooCommerce or any other plugins I deactivated here. So this may be a problem for you if you overdo it. So be careful with that, which means I'm going to activate those again. Save it, refresh it. And they are back again. So this concludes first part. Now let's take a look at the second part. I'm going to go to the plugins, add new, and I'm going to search for WP Optimize. It's a caching plugin. There are hundreds of caching plugins over there, but I like this one the most because it's fairly easy to use. So I'm going to install and activate it. And when it's done, you'll see the WP Optimize menu here. Go to the caching option first. Enable page caching. Cache lifespan. I'm going to set it to eight hours. I'm going to save it. Next, I'm going to open up the preload. I'm going to run it now and save it. Next, I'm going to open up the gzip compression. I'm going to enable this one if it isn't already activated. And the same goes with the static file headers. This is done. Now I'm going to go to the minify. I'm going to enable it. And at first, I'm going to leave everything activated. Same goes with the JavaScript and CSS. I'm not going to touch anything here. Under the settings, I'm going to leave everything as it is. And same go, goes with advanced. If I change anything here, then I can just save it down below. After the saving, I'm going to go to my site. I'm going to refresh it. And now, word of caution. The Minify sometimes may mess up your site a bit. So pay attention what is what. For example, at the moment, it seems to me that something has happened with the fonts up here. I'm going to show you what I mean by that. I'm going to disable processing CSS files here. Now I'm going to refresh. And you'll see 
now the fonts are smaller a bit that means they display as I would like them to display if I activate this here and refresh it you'll see something happened here the fonts are bigger so it's clearly messing something up so pay attention after minifying your site take a look at everything what is over there and if anything is not working then start playing with the settings here one more thing up here there is a purge cache link you can purge cache for all pages and you can purge minifying cache well back to the gt metrics now before you do the test be sure that the minifying has been enabled for a couple of minutes browse your site here or there also take a look at that those cache preloading has been finished it has been finished here okay let's retest the site and what do you know performance grade is 99 percent largest contentful paint loading is less than a second total page size is 1.2 megabytes page request 61 now one last test i'm gonna refresh the page open up the performance analyzer and similar results loading time less than a second requests 81 which mean we took our sites from this result here 2.2 seconds and, and 54 percent performance grade to less than a second loading time with a 99 percent performance grade and as you saw we did it in less than 10 minutes with a couple of clicks now once again word of caution if you're using minifying then it may mess up your site so be careful with it if you're using caching and you're tweaking your site if you don't see any changes then either purge your cache or take a look at your site with a private view now if you find this tutorial helpful then don't forget to press the thumbs up button also take a look at the screen right now because there are two other tutorials i would like you to take a closer look and if you have any questions, then let me know in the comments. Meanwhile, take care.